I'm pretending I'm throwing you down. So you fall down here, right? And we fall into somebody. That's good. Like scoot over right here though. Um, this way. Yeah. So we fall into somebody with chain punching. And then let's say he knows something better than he does. So he flips his leg around like this and gets me like this, right? And I'm getting turned. I'm putting my next hands up, right? To deal with him. Or if we get in here and he opens my legs up to, and I fall forward, I'm falling forward with chain punches, right? And if he pulls me over here, that's the lap sow, and this is a beauty shape, right? But my hips are gonna have to turn towards him, right? With my, with my nose to nose theory. All right, come back up here. Thank you. So, as I go into chain punching to go into one knee down, and this knee's controlling on their body, but I don't have a body here, right? I have the same set of moves. And then if I get pulled into guard, I'm using my adduction thing, the chain punches here, and this stuff, with just a little imagination, is using the same, there's a way to turn, chain punch in case they come and hit me again right there. All right, seeing Isaiah back over there. Uh, this is called the redundancy concept. It's used in all kinds of things. This chain punching and the leg coming out is the initial motion and then all else is going to spawn from the chain punching. But it's not going to be chain punching. That's the training motif to cover the pointy fingers in padding. It's a little bit of padding. And then Isaiah and I are skilled enough with some chain punching without padding, right? That we, we do stuff like that. I didn't plan that. But I don't need a pack sow anymore. My, the face of my fist catches him up. Right, and we punch around each other's forearms, not because we're trying to avoid each other's fists, right? And that's needed in the screama, right? But because I want to use my surface of my forearm, and the, there's the under surface on that side, and this side there's the upper surface, right? For me, under surface, upper surface. So I'm trying to attack with this distance here going forward. Right? So, nice to thank you for not beating me up, Isaiah. It's a process of multiple slices coming in, right? The chain punch covers all of the, right? So I have this elbow that comes out in a proper chain punch, which you all forget about. And I have the little short punch, which doesn't fully extend. Right? I can punch myself in the face pretty hard from in here all right and then you go at me this way sir all right chain punch towards me with your fist he doesn't know how to aim it yet so when i'm a intermediate student working with a beginner and give me your left leg we have a method of setting up our distance down here which i won't show you and so he's punching in the air towards my hand like we just did on the bag so lock your arm you have to lean away and make your arm able to lock completely. There we go. He's got a distance. He's learned punching the heavy bag. And then you can do this in the air if I move my hand. Don't lean forward. That's your spot in the air. So a beginner is going to train a whole bunch of tools like this. And if a person doesn't deal with this, do that that hard because I'm going to hurt myself, right? If the person tries to like move around this stuff, you're going to hit my head, right? Bop, bop, whoa, right? The person has to deal with this stuff. The student just puts it in the air. And the student's been putting it in the air on hard things. This is what the muscle memory of the chain punching is for. So he's punching the bag. That's my hands. And then now I'm going to punch his arms. And then he's learned this distance thing down here. So I'm the intermediate student that leans up towards that distance. My job as a secondary is to learn how to gauge distance. And then maybe I'm going to add the second attack down low. You don't even know the defense very well yet. There it is. Right? And then put pursue me. And then watch the load. Yeah. Good job, right? And then if I'm not there, I I should be getting hit. 
So, thank you, sir. For the chest pad drill that he's ready for. And when his buddy comes back from vacation, they're, they're going to be chasing each other, hitting each other on the chest pads. Isaiah and I, um, we now have this kind of, we'd rather not have the gear on. And we've gone through a lot of chi sao stuff. And we've translated all of these things, like this, this thing here, right? And, and this thing here, I'll do it to him, yeah? We translated it into pack sao punch drills, right? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> he has a good connection today. I like got the punch on there. Punch again. Hmm. Huh, like that drill we were just doing. So, this chain punch is going to be our most familiar, most repeated, most used move. And I'm not going to imagine that I'm suddenly going to like open my hands and dinky 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 dink, 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 or something. I don't practice that. I practice going pop pop pop. And then I might go, oh wait, I got open hands and he's still here. Okay, chonk, aim something, at him, right? But that, I've been in enough of these things where I'm sitting here usually like, this dude's getting all heated about being wrong about his towel. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, dude, nah, you're wrong. Leo was there. Were you watching Leo? Or did you even know? I wasn't it? watching, but I did, I did hear, I did like see some of it. Second time, I've had an event where nobody filmed me. <laughs> he was at one, just couldn't believe his eyes. I don't blame him. And then my son was watching his phone. World star. Kids these days. All right, so to finish up, I, I make a mention of the Sunim Tao sometimes with this lesson. So the Sunim Tao, right, starts, okay, wait, you guys go all the way down and then you come up. That's fine, right? So the Sunim Tao starts with the full extension into the tan cells, right? And if you don't want to inter rotate them, okay, and then you have the next move is the punch, right? And the punch goes with the elbow out and then. Extends. Yep. And then the very last move of the Sunim Tao shoots out. And here's your cross position again. And you do one, two, three, and you chain punch three times. So if you put that together, you have a cycle of crossed and clearing, and you put the tan sao in there. You have this cycle of like this. If you put the beginning and the end of Sunim Tao together, and then you add the chain punching, that's where you get the Quan Sao. Not from, doesn't have to be from the wooden dummy or some later form, right? It's right there if you just chain punch. Do from the side, blue shirt instruction level. All right, so that the end of, and the beginning, and if you want to do it this way. So that is a chain punch process. And then you add the chi sao stuff from the third part of the Sunim Tao. And you're bringing your elbow to the inside and you're getting this limbrosity to be able to pull off all these fancy moves with your elbow on the inside. Yeah, and then when you come back, your elbow's going to the outside. You're coming back like this. So I see a lot of you celebrating this move like this, right? I think it's probably a real move, but I'm like, we do that already with, it's already in the, it should be out here for beginners. All right, chain punching then is when you put it all into a cycle, the, the rounder, middler, shared space, and then stick your arms up onto me, Isaiah, right? There's something happened, right? So let's see what it was. It was a shape like that. So it was this end position, ready to go out again. We were, right, and then I pushed myself away in that case, right? So we put these out there, and then all of our stuff from the suit and towel was available. Oh, I got into chum cue. All right.
that's enough video for today. So I'd come over here. Um, so he's been doing this for about a year, 2024, but he's been doing this since he was a little kid, maybe 10 lessons. I should bust out those videos of him. I think he's in a blue shirt in those videos too, or I am.